Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of uh, faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to um, still teach on the forever battle. The forever battle. You remember the Bible said when Jacob was, was uh, coming to meet Esau and Esau was coming against uh, Jacob with a sword and uh, with spears and all those other things. Then an angel of the Lord came and started wrestling with, with, with Jacob. Yeah, now the Bible said they wrestled throughout the night and Jacob was insisting that he should be blessed. But the angel uh, didn't want to do the biding of uh, Joseph, uh, Jacob by blessing him until he changed his name, until he asked him, what's your name? And um, it was when Jacob gave a revel his name that the revelation of who he was, because your name is your definition, the definition of you. And when he gave out his name and said, my name is Jacob, and he said, yes, for sure, you're a supplanter, you're a thief, you're a cheat. You dream about the possession of other people and find ways and means of acquiring them. That's who you are. And so Jacob had to go through a whole transformation. Now here's the thing, the battle continued until Jacob came to a full realization of who he was. You know, sometimes there are some battles, and I always say that some battles we face, either spiritual or whatever it is, and they may, they'll be coming from three sources. They'll be coming from humanity, that is men, in terms of a conspiracy or something else. It could also come from the devil in terms of a satanic um, a program concerning your life, or it could also be coming from heaven. Now, when the battle is coming from um, men, uh, we can easily stop it with the snap of our fingers. We can easily ask, ask the Lord, deliver us from evil, remove our feet from the snare of a fowler, blah, 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 blah. That we can do easily. And then when it's also coming from the enemy, we can also, that is satanic program, we can also, like Jesus said, I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. And then we can say, Lord, deliver us from evil. And then we can bind and lose and, you know, do all the things that we need, that the spiritual warfare that we can. Wrestling with the enemy and prevailing prayer, binding and losing, commanding, and all those things. But now here's the other picture. What if the battle comes from God? What if, like Jacob, it was God who started the fight? What, what if that? Are you going to bind God? Are you going to ask him to deliver you from evil? Are you going to ask him to remove your feet from the satanic snare, the snare of a fowler? No, this time, he has activated it. And I want to say this. Sometimes there are some forever battles. This battle will continue. These situations will repeat themselves. This then will continue for a long time until we fall at the mercy of God. That is when we ask for mercy. Sometimes there are things going on in our lives that God wants to draw our attention to. And God wants to tell us, this is who you are. This is what you are. This is what you are doing. And you know, he's going to release an avalanche of attacks. He's going to release an avalanche of things and things are going to come flying at you from every angle. Hey, you can't bind God. If God starts it, you can't bind the God of Genesis chapter 11 who came down to visit what men? You can't, you can't bind the God who brings judgment. Now behold, the Bible says, behold, the love and severity of God. God loves us, but sometimes he chastises us. God loves us, but sometimes he brings us to a place of discipline. And until you come to that place of discipline, until you come to that place of order, until you come to the realization that this is what he, he is doing, and not necessarily enemy action, not necessarily the wickedness of men, but this is the handiwork of God. This is the prompting of God. You're going to be fighting and fighting and fighting until you come to that revelation. Well, there are battles, I'll call them forever battles. And that's the title of today's message, the forever battle. Well, you can avoid it by learning quick, falling on the mercy of God. See you later.